I respect your loyalty to the old man. I admire it. He's had no greater friend than you. Uh -huh. And? And he's dying, Sir Kay. You know it, and so does everybody else. Lieutenant Train Zhang, Rangers. I've brought a message from Angela Death. Yep. I bet we just miss each other back home. My husband Jason and I left California with Colonel Death when she returned to AZ. Jason opened his gun shop at HQ and I signed on. Then Angela picked me for the Colorado advance team and I've been here ever since. Missing Jason like crazy, but that's the life of a ranger, right? My real name is Connie. But my husband always calls me Chew Chew Train. Because my maiden name was Chew. Somehow, the other guys in my unit found out about this, and now everybody calls me Train. I. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. Colonel Death has info for you that's too sensitive for the airwaves. She wants a face to face sent me to arrange it. Colonel Death will give you the details, but Liberty Buchanan is getting ready to make her move on her father. And the army she's assembled, well, let's just say they're probably not going to be very worried about collateral damage. The Colonel has intel that will help you stop Liberty before she pulls the trigger. She doesn't have much reason to trust you, does she? Despite her showing you the Patriarch's bad side, you're still following his orders. <laughs> She's not going to put her head in the lion's mouth. If you want to meet her, it'll have to be on neutral ground. The House of the Hoon family. Just your squad. Nobody else. Will you come? You're probably not going to take her word as a ranger at this point. But think about it. You both want to stop Liberty Buchanan from starting her coup, right? Well, Angie wants to help you do that. So, she's got no reason to kill you. And that's not good enough. How about I offer myself as a hostage? I'll stay here at your base until you hear her out. If anything happens to you, you can have your crew shoot me down. What do you say? Thanks, Rangers. I'll be here until you get back. I... Team November, we've got trouble. Scar collectors are attacking the perimeter at multiple points. We're coordinating the defense now, but we need all hands on deck. Stay sharp. Rangers, come out and play! Liberty says thanks for dealing with her brothers. Now, deal with this. Flirt's party! <laughs> Destruction!
You don't just start tearing the place apart. Stop. Ah! Look at picture. Time for one last Almost stare. always Glad to hear you saved Ooh, Gwendolyn Reed's daughters. Right to the hiding you don't bad lady mad at you. Somebody better. Patch me up. What do you need, Rangers? That's what you pay me for. Have a seat. Nonsense. You're not even hurt. I don't mind not having to clean and suture a festering wound. You left the monster in charge of the bazaar. Okay. I guess. If it ain't broke, no. Got any questions? Let's don't worry, there ain't gonna be a test at the end of class. Let's start sweating. Got any questions? Let's hear. Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. I wonder if there will be conflict. There's no more exhilarating feeling than being shot at with no result. Rangers, that's what you get for narking on our party in Little Vegas. Oh my god, Troy, you're so funny. <laughs> you think we're scared of you? Bunch of dillweeds. You roasted them so hard, babe. But... I'm getting bored now. Can we go?
Colonel Death will be along just as soon as I make sure you're all here. And you haven't brought along any unexpected guests. Can't be too careful these days, right? Glad we have an understanding. Well, looks like everyone's here who's supposed to be here, so I'll give her a ring. One sec. All clear. Come ahead. <clears throat> Hey now, cowboys. Face to face at last. And just as handsome as I thought you'd be. Remember when you chose to follow the Patriarch's orders instead of saving those folks Erastus threatened to slaughter? I figured we'd meet here so you could see what was left of them. I know Woodson told you to do Buchanan's bidding, but to my mind... It ain't the ranger way to help the powerful ahead of the helpless. Cause things like this happen. Just something to keep in mind as you hear me out. <laughs> Good eye, Doc. It's definitely put a hitch in my talk box. But no thank you, I got it under control. This and my fake leg are souvenirs from when my chopper got shot out of the sky over Long Beach, California. Good times. But, uh, since you've obviously got the skills to use them, here, I got a few extra med kits on me. Try not to use them all at once. Well, ain't you polite. Hope that bodes well. Now what with you not taking Saul's sons out like I asked? I'm guessing we've got different ideas about how things in Colorado should play out. But I'm still hoping you'll come around, November. So here's the deal. As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. And second... Yeah! Scar collectors. Well, well. Speak of the devil and her minions shall appear. Looks like Liberty overheard our rendezvous call. Guess we'll have to deal with this before we continue. I will take their side!
Friends? You sidewinders! Die, Patriarch! Get in behind them! As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. Second, and you're gonna love this, the Patriarch's gotta go too. Patriarch holds Colorado together. It will be chaos without him. It might be. You're right. But the way we see it, possible chaos is better than actual tyranny. And we're hoping that, as Rangers, we'll be able to help mitigate that chaos and give Colorado a chance to live under some honest-to-God rule of law for a change. And for that, we need your help. Oh, thanks for hearing me out. Uh, let's talk about Liberty first. I've got to hand it to her. Daddy's little girl has done the impossible. She's united the boldest and baddest warlords of the Eastern Plains, and she's getting ready to lead them into Colorado. When she does, well... Well, that'll be the end of this place. Every man, woman, and child from here to the Rockies will be killed, enslaved, or taken as a sacrifice. And their houses and towns burned to the ground. None of us want that, right? Glad to hear it. So here's the plan. Part one, help Ironclad Cordite take control of Liberty's gangs. Then, part two, let him lead them all off to Kansas, where he can achieve his blood-soaked destiny without getting any on us. I know you've got him on ice back at Ranger HQ. Well... It's time to dust him off and put him to good use. Now, I'm guessing y'all have some questions. Pete and Brother Thomas came back with me from LA, and Tax from Arizona. These others are locals who have various gripes against the Patriarch. We trained him up as best we could. Nicer bunch of folks you'll never find. Pretty simple, really. The Patriarch has spies watching Liberty's compound. If you show up, those spies will think you're there on Daddy's behalf, and they'll be happy to see you. If we show up, our plan is revealed, yeah? And that would give the Marshals a chance to button up Colorado Springs before we make our attack. They'd be waiting for us. <sighs> now that's gonna be a fight. Basically, while you're taking care of Liberty, my team will be in Colorado Springs, softening the ground. Once you finish up out there, you'll come back and help us corner the man and bring him down. Our primary concern, other than ending the bloody reign of the Buchanans, is minimizing civilian casualties. That means you've got to ride herd on your crew and watch who you ally yourself with. For instance, we don't want the gangs coming to the party. If Cordite wants to come along and get his revenge on the Patriarch, fine but he leaves his army at home, no matter how tight a hold he thinks he's got on him. We want to be the good guys here, so we've got to do this clean. Rape and pillage is a surefire way to turn people against their liberators. Keep the peace, keep things fair. I don't see the rangers running things. I see our job as keeping the playing field even. There's always a lot of weasels that come out of the woodwork after a big man falls, trying to grab a piece of the pie. So we're just gonna hang around, and every time a weasel pops their head up, we'll whack them. At the same time, whenever somebody comes along who tries to take care of the people, all the people, we'll help them out. But we ain't gonna be anybody's muscle. We'll answer to the people, 
nobody else. No idea. Nobody's tried it before, as far as I know. But it's worth a shot, right? Can't be worse than the way things are now. Well, for one thing, we ain't paying the man. We ain't actively funding murder the way old Saul is. And second, despite Cordite's destiny, my guess is he goes back to Kansas and him and his rivals all wipe each other out, leaving the whole territory a more peaceful place. All right then, what's it gonna be? What? Whew, there's a load off my mind. Thank you. You're gonna make all the difference. Now here's the location of Liberty's camp. Be careful when you get close. The gangs don't care much for strangers, and even less for rangers. You mustn't do this, rangers. Please. I am sympathetic to your cause, but I am still a loyal subject of the Patriarch. If you follow this path to its conclusion, I shall have no choice but to oppose you. Hmm. Good luck sorting it out, cowboys. We'll talk again when Liberty's taken care of. <laughs>